everybody, friends and followers. It is Tara, otherwise known as Candy Mama, here again for another Appalachian Trail recon vlog. So the last video, I was in Denver at the Ultra Athlete Summit. Went back to Vermont to get my van and then started heading up to Maine. Uh, yesterday, I actually stopped in Lincoln and stayed with my friends at the Mount Liberty Lodging. Mike and Susan, they're great. Mike, I'm not sure Susan, Mike's talked about he's through hike. I think it was a 94. They are great people. If you are through hiking or in the area, definitely give them a visit. They've got great motels. They care about the hikers. They care about the community. Stopped there in Lincoln and did accidentally, actually, I did a uh, Franconia Ridge and on the 18th. I went up there and back down. I did about 11 and a half miles, 4,500 feet in gain. So it was a really fun climb. Um, just typical New England. This morning woke up and went to McDonald's and answered a couple emails. And now I am on the road to Munson. I'm gonna stop at Route 15 at where the 100 mile wilderness starts. And I'm gonna do a run. I have an eight mile run, eight to 10 miles, but I was supposed to rest yesterday according to my training. Instead, I did the 12 or the 11 and a half miles. Again, the main purpose of checking out these road crossings is just to check the accessibility for my crew so we can just know exactly what we're getting ourselves into when we are on this FKT attempt. I want them to be completely prepared. So just check it out, those road crossings. I'm going to do a couple runs and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. So let's go back to the Appalachian Trail. Lighting isn't the best, but you get the idea. Got my first endurance visor on. I think it's Pfizer Girl Summer, so I don't know, wear the first endurance visor from now on. It's a lot of bugs. I just got the Vertix 2 by Chorus. So excited to see the stats on it. The Spry by Ultra Spider. Got a layer, I've got hydration, and I've got gels, Mont Blancs, and Engine G Toe Socks. All right. Let's go on a run. I'm doing eight. My gosh, why does my camera look like this? Oh, that's much better. <laughs> uh, I just need to clean it a bit. Here's a trail. If you guys watch my vlogs regularly, you know I was here like three weeks ago, three weeks sorta. Uh, a lot less snow right off the bat and a lot more warm. These trails really test you. I wrapped my ankle today. The ankle sprain I've been dealing with since JFK. I think I did it too tightly. I'm in a bit of pain. Hurting my arch. But I'm just gonna do what I can. Oh. So pretty. Elk. What I think is Just finished my run and I'm a little muddy, but I'm gonna drink some Ultra Gen here. And then I have a little strength work I'm doing and then I'm gonna do my PT for my 
sprained ankle. So it's just like Myrtle, so I do the Myrtle routine. Um, so it's a lot of hip work and it's on YouTube. So if you look at Myrtle runner's routine, it's on there. This is clamshell, it's really good for your hips. feel extremely overwhelmed right now in the van. It's like, van life is fun and freeing, but it's also cluttered, disorienting sometimes. It is around 9.30 a.m. Still at that, um, I think it's Route 15 near Monson. And unfortunately, it's raining. Just finished all my chores. I'm gonna leave this spot. <laughs> this was a great spot to sleep overnight. Very roomy parking area, but I'm gonna head into the 100 mile wilderness. The people here at the North Main Woods, the Joe Mary checkpoint were very helpful. I came in there not really knowing what I was talking about. <laughs> There's all this information you can look for online, but until you talk to a local, that's when you really understand. <laughs> you know, this green area, green border here, is all of the Katahdin Ironworks Joe Mary uh, area. I essentially do is I'm gonna go up here, past Joe Mary, on Joe Mary. Check out Joe Mary, well actually, go up Joe Mary. Go to Johnson Pond up here and check out that spot and then drive back down and then go check out Joe Mary. They said, do not go to Bee Pond. Not a very easily accessible place. After I go up to Joe Mary, I'm gonna kind of shoot up here and go check out like the Pollywog and Wadley um, areas. And then over there, I forget what that is. But anyways, this is a trail, such a helpful map here. Very helpful people at the Joe Mary checkpoint. Brenda, thank you so much, and uh, other folks, thank you. I really appreciate y'all. All right, it's somewhere around here. There is a nice little pull-off here for the van. Oh, I see it. Joe Mary Road, 6.9 miles. That's where I'm gonna go next. First, I'm gonna make a sandwich. Try not to get it too ahead of myself and forget to eat. I can kind of get a little excited and just kind of put off eating. Spinach, onions, chicken breast, provolone, bread, tomates, horseradish, spicy brown mustard, and Grillo's Pickles. Made it to Joe Mary Road, or where the trail crosses over. There's some people waiting down there by the trail. There is this like nice parking area on the side. Uh, probably good for like, cause there's parking on the other side and then parking right here where I'm at. I'd say like six vehicles can fit in here. But yeah, pretty good spot. This is Joe Mary Road. When you get to Joe Mary Road, this is where I hope to be spending my first night. So, um, Jennifer Farr Davis spent her first night on her like overall record attempt here. So this is 56 miles from Katahdin. Nahamakanta is another 40 minutes from here. Lots of driving in Maine. Y'all, this is a little sketchy. 
Uh, <laughs> I do not at all think I want to risk my van going through here. Really, this really stinks, actually. I mean, it, it, it kind of looks okay. Those three access points, the Hamacanta, Wadley, and Polywog Stream aren't accessible. That means I would have to go about 42 miles unsupported on the first day, which would be fine. I think would be okay, especially since it would be the first day. It's not like I haven't done anything like that before. But it's not optimal. Uh. Dang it, y'all. Nope. Not optimal at all. Yeah, so what I think I'm gonna do is not risk this. I still need my van for so many things. So for right now, I'm just going to assume, I'm just gonna assume that I'll go 42 miles without support, which is fine. I'll have fresh legs. So I'll head to Katahdin Ironworks. I think it's about an hour and a half drive. It's about two o'clock now, so that puts me at 3.30 and I'll stop start my run from there also sleep in Katahdin Ironworks for the night let's see if they'll let me back through the Henderson checkpoint Um, I am at the Henderson checkpoint and I was just let in and then I was going to come back out. I just went back down there to go check out a, a road and my van can't get through it. So I was going to come back through. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Bye. <sighs> yeah, that's the way things go, I guess. That's why I'm doing this. That is why I'm doing this, is so I can check out these road crossings and see if they're passable. That, not passable in the van. This is Katahdin Ironworks. I am staying at Pleasant River campsite number three. And it was $33. You know, I'm trying to do this on a budget. Usually I'm just staying places for free. Um, and $33? It's kind of expensive for a campsite, but they have been really helpful here at the uh, Katahdin Ironworks, Joe Mary Roads. Uh, very accommodating. So I was happy to pay it. gonna go up the chair backs. <laughs> Somebody's still at the campsite so I'm just gonna like let them be there. Maybe they're just fishing and then head there after my run. All right, let's see. South. Southern Ironworks gate. All right. Pretty nice parking. There's a little parking area down there.
The trail is so gorgeous up here. Very cool, like the perfect temperature. I feel like the rain has followed me for the past did it oh wait it did rain in Denver I have had like maybe like two really nice days but there's been rain that's just followed me for the past like three weeks well, I guess those people cleared out so I got the place all myself I just wish it wasn't raining so much chicken quesadillas for dinner Van's a little dirty, but this is the view. Nice river. It rained a lot last night, like pretty much the entire night. And it was a lot of rain. Um, I have a leak in my van again. I thought I fixed it because it hadn't been coming through, but with like heavy, heavy rain, like what we had last night, eventually it does come through. I just don't know where. I have like no clue where the water comes in. I'm trying to clean up the van, make some breakfast. It's really nice with the birds though. Beautiful morning. Got 10 miles to do today with some surges in between. But I really didn't want to run this morning. Yeah, after this run, I'm gonna leave Maine and start driving out west to Idaho for a 50K I'm running out there. Really hoping it's sunny and nice. I really want to drive somewhere that's sunny and not so rainy. I hope you guys enjoyed the 100 Mile Wilderness Recon. This is getting to be a long title. I hope you guys enjoyed the 100 Mile Wilderness AT Recon, ATFKT Recon. I'm also posting, as you guys know, members only videos where I go over more my new details about my training and just answer questions that members might have. They actually took a poll recently and said that they want to be called crew instead of members. Sounds a little less formal than members do. So if you'd like to see those members only videos, I try to post them every week. I'm a little more busy, it's a little tougher to do. Raging, raging, raging stream. It's a little tougher to do week by week, but if you would like to see those videos, you can become a member of this channel. And 
I really appreciate everyone that's already joined. All right, that's all for right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.